Hi guys, this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Doodle. Welcome back to my channel. So we are here for our part two of the mask making session, week number 160. So we were making the collaged faux envelope, so collage book page with the faux envelope flap pockets. And we've done it in two um, videos, like we did in, you know, last time when we were doing week number 60. So if you saw my video um, yesterday, we collaged obviously a bunch, a bunch of book pages. Now I've got them here. So if you saw the video yesterday, we collaged up a bunch of book pages. Now I've got them all here. They all need trimming down. Um, but I thought let's, you know, let's come along and do kind of everything together. So for me, I'm filming this the next day. So I'm filming this on the Tuesday. Um, I did do some other videos yesterday, but yeah, I didn't do the second part to this one. Um, so I'm just going to trim these down. We did quite well because we actually made six of these collage masterboards, which um, you know, was amazing because actually in the original video, week number 60, I'd only actually made three. So yeah, touch wood. I have obviously got a little bit faster at my collage in. Not saying I've got faster at anything else, but at least my collage in maybe has improved and got faster. So we just trim these down like this. Okie dokie. So if you're wanting to join in today, you obviously will need your masterboards that we made in the previous video. And then you're going to need some paper to use as your envelope flaps. Now you could use actual real envelopes. Um, if I just kind of pull one in to sort of demonstrate. So, oops, hang on a second. These are five by sevens, for example. Now we are going to be just using the flap part. So we're going to make it, you know, be making something kind of that looks like this. So if you were to use genuine envelope flaps, you're going to need to get an envelope that's going to be roughly the size of your pocket. So these are five by sevens, which as you can see, is far too large. We would need, I think we said this was five and a half, approximately this book page. So you'd need something that the width of the envelope was around about the five and a half inch. If, you know, if this is the size of your book page. Um, or you're going to need other paper that you can make your envelope flaps. So I've brought along kind of a selection of coloured papers. These are papers that I have coloured with um, food colouring that are thicker than copy paper. Now, again, that's personal preference. I have picked papers that are, you know, thicker than copy paper. You could probably do it with copy paper. You're just then going to have a slightly more flimsy flap. But if you're happy with that, there's no reason why you couldn't. I've got some vintage document here. You could possibly use something like this um, because this is kind of on thickish paper. So just kind of mix and match and sort of see whatever, you know, whatever that you fancy using. Um, and then I am going to be finishing mine off with some sort of pockets. Now, again, I've brought along some of my um, Parisian uh, note cards and things. These are available in my shop. My printer's actually printing as we speak. So hopefully I'm getting some of the bits from my um, Victorian ephemera set four, I think it is. So I'll also have those kinds of things. So again, what you're looking for are things that are sort of slightly, um, you know, landscape rather than portrait or, you know, rectangular rather than square. Um, and that they're going to be small enough so that when you cut them down, they're going to fit onto your pockets. So things like that. You're going to then need some glue. You're going to need some scissors. And then <clears throat> you might want things to decorate up with. So maybe, for example, some lace trims and things maybe some flowers, you know, just anything really that kind of takes, you know, take, take, takes your fancy. I'm so sorry, I'm losing the ability to speak for some reason today. Anything that takes your fancy kind of de decoration wise. So I'll just quickly finish trimming these down and then we'll obviously get making our pockets. I mean, optional extras would be something like maybe a corner rounder if you want to round your corners. Um, Obviously, your blending tools if you want to ink up the edges of your pockets, you know, but they're all kind of extra things that you may or may not want to have. You know, you may not deem it necessary to ink your court, ink your uh, pages. You may not deem it necessary to round your corners. So they're just going to be kind of optional, optional things, really. I mean, everything is optional, really, but, you know, they're going to be definitely, definitely, definitely optional kind of extras. Um, you know, you could use things like eyelets and, um, you know, baker's twine or something if you wanted to kind of hold your flap down. 
you know, just kind of play around really and just have fun to, you know, come up with the best variety of little faux envelopes that you can really. So absolutely no rules. I mean, obviously with junk journals, there's no rules anyway ever. Um, but yeah, even less so with this project. So just go where your your papers take you and where your you know where the where you fancy going so we just cut these down just got one more you'll be pleased to know now i did try and really mix it up with my collage papers yesterday and uh yeah i may may live to regret that now because i've just turned that first one or you know this one over and thought oh my goodness what was i thinking putting those combination of papers together because they don't actually look really that great do they but hopefully they will by the time that we've added some extra bits so we shall see we shall see we shall see okie dokie right let's get rid of all these bits now from the desk okay so Let's just take in, well, let's take in that one that, you know, I just think looks pretty horrible, <laughs> pretty sort of mixed up. Um, and then all we're going to do, we're going to cut it roughly in half. <clears throat> now, again, I don't measure or anything, so we're just going to judge that by eye and just hope for the best. And then you can obviously, you know, take it down slightly more if you feel it needs to be slightly slimmer or whatever. Oops, oh my goodness, and I'm obviously getting worse and worse every time I cut it. So, yeah, it's not... Not going well okay and then this one so again just take that down like that okay okie dokie right <clears throat> so then what you're going to want to do is take some paper to make your envelope flap now I've got the blue and I've got the greeny color so I might use the blue one on this one and maybe the green one on there. So what I want to do in the first instance is obviously have this cut down to roughly the size that I want it to be. So I'm just going to cut it down in line roughly with the width of the pocket. Now I'm then going to cut it slightly taller than the pocket, if you see what I'm, not taller, sorry, not taller than the pocket, but longer because that's going to be my faux envelope flap so if i just kind of demonstrate this what we're going to have is basically we're going to fold this over the page like that okay and then we're just going to make our envelope flap so hook it on sort of roughly where you think and then we're going to cut this to a sort of faux envelope shape so unfold it and then I just kind of fold it over approximately half like that now I'm not going to squish it in the middle because I'm not actually trying to get a fold line but then you're going to just take it down to make your your envelope flap and then you can obviously tidy your your flap up there now that might be that I've done that too long too long too pointy it doesn't look too bad to be honest it looks better than I expected so yeah but I might just go in slightly just slightly like that okay so I mean you can play around and obviously you know do them as as you see fit obviously if you were using real envelopes now and they happen to fit your piece <clears throat> then you would just obviously trim your envelope piece off if you see what I mean so that you had the bit that would hook over neatly so that's that one so I'm going to do those in a sort of mass make um, style so that we just get a bunch going. So if I just now cut this one down, okie dokie. Like so I'll do all of my um, cutting first, I think, and then do all of my folding. So I might as well cut all of these in half in the first instance. So, I mean, they're just quite a fun sort of pocket to make. They're a little bit different looking perhaps to some other pockets and, you know, they're just, yeah, very, very cute, I think. And like we said yesterday, I mean, they're a brilliant scrap buster. They use some book pages and, you know, they use up quite a few scraps obviously with your collage. So, you know, they're just quite a nice one to actually 
to make. So let's just go across there. Okie dokie. Okay. So I hope everyone enjoyed the first video. Thank you so much to everyone who's sent lovely well wishes, you know, hoping that I feel better soon. Yeah, I'm still not feeling great, it's got to be said. Um, but, you know, hey, it is what it is. I, I'm not feeling, you know, not feeling too terrible. Just like I'd said yesterday, feeling quite breathless and um, a little bit shivery and things. So, but hopefully that's, you know, yeah, hopefully I'm kind of past the worst and I'm going to start feeling a bit better. But, yeah, it's um, just one of those things. I must just blow my nose, I'm afraid. It's this type of thing, it's just dragging on a bit. And um, yeah, hopefully it will, hopefully it will start to go soon. So we'll start to get better soon. Okay, okay. So sorry if you can hear my printer printing, I'm just printing off some stuff for the next project now. So um, yeah, I'm obviously printing off some more of those ephemera bits for hopefully this project. But I'd also got some things ready for the next video that I'll be doing this morning. So, all right, let's just cut this one down here. Okay, like that, and yeah, that one. Okay, so then obviously take my, <clears throat> my piece of paper and pick some, you know, some pretty pieces that will look good with these so my son came home yesterday from Lisbon I know that I did say he'd been to Lisbon you know in the previous video so yeah he got home yesterday um oh I don't know about seven or something yeah quite late-ish to be honest because you know he'd been sort of traveling all day in the end because they'd obviously missed their flight so you know I mentioned that he'd phoned me and it was like six something in the morning. So we'd kind of been traveling all day and then they were flying from Stansted Airport, which is actually quite a long way from where we live. So um, it obviously took him quite a while to get home. You know, once they got off the plane, his friend lives sort of near that way. Um, you know, so he'd left his car, I think, at his friend's house and then I think gone on the train from there. And then, of course, he had to then drive from there, which I think he said was about a three hours journey. So, yeah, anyway, I think he had a nice time. He, yeah, was obviously, um, told me all about it and things. And, yeah, I think they, I think they enjoyed themselves. It looked very pretty. They, they, um, didn't go to a beach or anything like that at all, but... They went like to the, you know, to the town and things. And uh, yeah, that, that all looked very pretty. So yeah, I think they had a nice time. I mean, traveling is kind of addictive, isn't it? When you do start traveling, you know, you just want to keep going, don't you? And go to other places and things. So I think he's he's got that bug really at the moment that he's like, oh, I just love to travel, you know. Um, which, you know, it's great, isn't it? When you're young, you should you should travel as much as you can, really, because that's the time to do it, isn't it? Before you, you know, get a mortgage and get bills and, you know, get responsibilities and things. You should kind of travel as much as you can. So, uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully he'll do more traveling. But at the moment, he's obviously now sort of trying to save some money because, of course, you know, he's spent quite a lot of money over the last few months you know because he has done a bit of traveling and things so yeah he's just having to rein it in and stop spending any money at the moment so i think he's feeling a little bit kind of like down to earth with a bump but you know that will soon pass so and hey like i say i mean if you can't actually have a bit of fun when you're young i mean when can you so i said to him well don't worry about it too much you know you'll soon soon make that money back up and you know just enjoy yourself and view it that you've had a nice time you know so hopefully he'll you know he'll view it like that he's one of those he's quite a sensible kind of lad and um you know which is great isn't it but you know sometimes he needs to just 
loosen up a little bit and not be quite so sensible and just think, oh, do you know what? It's just better to just live, live your life. Right, I'm just trying to work out if I'd like this. So yeah, if I would like this, I'm thinking cut it, cut it here. So this is that vintage document and I'm thinking, if I cut it here, but have it upside down in that when I put it on, the text is actually the right way up, if you see what I mean. So I'm going to use that one. Now I've got this one here, which was that envelope. And I'm just wondering whether I should try and use this envelope flap. So I'm just going to tear this off of the envelope. <coughs> oh gosh, made it. Oh my goodness, made a terrible job of that. Okay, well let's just get it off the envelope here. Okay, okay. So yeah, what we'd again want to do is just approximately have it where where it's going to be. So if we're going to have it folding down like that, actually probably want to have it a bit more, a bit more. And yeah, we'll just then cut that down. Okay, okay. Let's trim this off here. Okay. Right. Okie dokie. So, yeah, we can do some of our folding and then we'll do all the gluing and then we'll do some decorating and things. So, I mean, hopefully we're going to get quite a lot of these actually done today. So, um, yeah, hopefully is the plan. So, at this point, actually, I did forget to mention you may want a bone folder, but to be honest, you can easily use your, you know, your scissor handles or, or anything as well. So, however you like to operate... So like that, and then I just squish that together, Oops. like that, and then just okay, okay. like that. Okay, so I mean that looks gorgeous, doesn't it? So then we've got the vintage document piece. So if I bring that one in. Now this one obviously slightly more tricky. So I want to have it... Uh, yeah, probably kind of in the middle, I suppose. So just going to fold that over at the top like that. Now, like I say, I mean this is quite lucky because this is quite thick. You know, being a vintage document, it's not like a vintage letter or anything. It's actually, you know, a thickish document. So it's working quite well for this. Obviously, I wouldn't really use like a vintage letter that was on flimsy paper. And again, that's just my, you know, my personal kind of take on it. Um, you know, if you're not quite such a clumsy person as me and, you know, likely to tear it, then you may actually find that you could use, you know, a vintage letter or just copy paper. I mean, it's just that I'm not, not very delicate. So uh, I would possibly damage it. So, okay. Oops, just going to round that off slightly more. Okay, like that. Made a horrible job of this one don't know whether I don't like it because the text is not kind of all the way um, but yeah I'm not loving it to be honest Let's just put that there Set it down slightly more okay well I mean hopefully I'll like it slightly better once we decorate it so I'm not loving it so far okay right Let's fold this one over Okay. <clears throat> Again, hook that over there. Like that. Okay. And just then sort of squish that like that. Now this one, obviously, this is quite long, so I definitely want to bring this down a whole bunch. So 
like that. Okay. Yeah, that looks a lot better. Okie dokie. And this one. So some of this paper appears, you know, to be thicker than others. So, I mean, I've obviously printed, you know, not printed it, uh, dyed it on a whole different bunch of, you know, thicknesses. But it's all thicker than copy paper. So, yeah. So this one, again, it's quite long. So I need to bring this down quite a bit in terms of, you know, height. So, like that. Okay. Okay, next one. I love having all these um, food coloured papers, to be honest. They just really enable you to have some different looks, you know. They're just one of those lovely kind of additions to have just in your stash sat ready. We're getting there. We are getting there. So it seems weird to do like a um, mass making like on a second day in a row. It's, uh, yeah, kind of got a strange, strange feel for me to do it two days in a row. Probably I haven't got anything new to say really since yesterday, unfortunately. Again, just squish that down and yeah, and just take that down like that. Okay. Okie dokie, and yep, this one. got that same still feeling that yesterday had it's weird seems like very quiet outside the house which uh yeah just just strange don't know what that's about just not many people around obviously today so okie dokie done with this one I'm not sure now not sure actually did I have pink and green I must have had pink and green then weird I can't actually even remember what what I'd used <clears throat> okay. so again this one wants to come down quite a lot obviously so it probably you know did not use my paper that brilliantly you know, I'm sure that I could have been a bit more efficient with my with my paper there. Oh my goodness, I've made a horrible job of this envelope flap. I don't know what I was thinking with that one, but but it's quite forgiving to be honest. You can sort of you know play around and then get it looking a bit better. Hopefully, anyway. Maybe that needs to come down slightly more. I mean, you could use your original envelope flap as a template, to be honest. You know, there's no reason why you couldn't do that. So if, like me, you're struggling to get it to look, you know, in a good shape at all, then you could always use your actual envelope, um, you know, as a template to get it looking, looking a better shape in relation to looking like... An envelope flap should look. Okay, right. That one and that one. Let's fold this one over. Okay. Bring that in. Okay. 
very cute. Okay, and then final one. Final one. This one. So then we can obviously glue them all together and then we can actually, de you know, decorate some. So I don't know what the time is. But, oh, I think we've been filming for about half an hour. It's flown by this morning. Absolutely flown by. Yeah, I just really quite like these, to be honest. They're quite a fun, just fun sort of different looking, different looking pocket, I think. So... I mean, to be honest, this one, oh gosh, I don't know why I even bothered, you know, folding it roughly in half because I've not really, not really then followed the halfway thing at all. I've made it just look horrendous. Might as well have not bothered at all. Right, okay, hopefully I've made it look a little bit better. Okay, right. So then what we're going to do is just go all the way down all of them and glue the flaps on. So <clears throat> I will just use my wet glue for this. Okay, okay. Oops. Like that. And you just want it to tuck in there. So it's looking like then obviously little, you know, a little faux, faux envelope. So, oops. Squish that down. Okie dokie. Oops, I have two wipes there. There we go. Like that. So I should just glue all of those down. And then we can obviously get decorating a few. So. Oh, sorry about that. I just had to blow my nose. So, yeah, let's glue the rest down. Okay, okay. So, and obviously, I mean, if you get this situation where you've got any overhanging, you can just obviously trim that off, you know, afterwards. So, not a, not a big deal. I'd forgotten about these to be honest and uh, they're really super cute aren't they I quite enjoy these mass bakes from a point of view of you know I don't know about you guys but you do forget over time things that you've made in the past and um, you know this is quite a good refresher for you know reminding you about things that you've made and you know perhaps really really liked and you know they worked really well and you know it's like oh yeah forgotten about that you know so it's quite nice to to do a run through and remake some. Now the other thing that you could do is if you're finding that your pieces are overhanging at all on the edges, so where we had to go in and trim off at the corner, you know, on the, on the side just now, what you could do, I'll demonstrate on this one, is you could just take this straight edge and just mitre it slightly. And just by mitering that slightly, you're not going to have that happen at all anyway. So, you know, if you're a bit worried that you're going to see it over the edge, just mitre it in and then that will just get around that. Like that. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Wow, we've made tons. I can't remember now whether we made, did we make 12? Uh, sorry, did we make six? Six master boards. I was thinking ahead then, thinking, oh, that would be 12, 12 pockets. Yeah, I think we made 12, uh, six, six master boards, which yeah, jumping ahead again, that would be 12 of these pockets. So I will double, double check and count them at the end, but I feel like we made six, I just can't remember, but yeah, I'm sure we did make six, which, you know, that's great going, isn't it? Because that's quite a lot of ready-made pieces that we've got there. 
ready to pop into a journal. So, you know, and hey, what, what was that out of our time? Nothing. It's just like a couple of hours, you know, an hour yesterday, an hour today. We've got 12 pieces for our journals, which is awesome, isn't it? I have to say, I mean, lots of you, you were so kind with your, obviously, well wishes, hoping that I felt better soon. And, you know, so many of you say that you really enjoy the Tuesday hangouts, you know, that we have during the mass making. And I can't tell you how much I feel the same. You know, I love the, the mass making sessions. They have such a different format to all of the other videos um, that I film. And, you know, it really does feel, for me, like I'm hanging out with friends, um, you know, and I know that lots of you say that as well, you know, that it really just feels like hanging out with a friend and doing some crafting. And, you know, I think I'm right in saying that lots of you do really like the, you know, um, kind of going over and over. So we're making the same thing repetitively because it really does help you to learn how to make something, which sometimes, you know, I'll watch a tutorial and I think, oh, well, I... I don't know how to make that, you know, that just looks really complicated. Where when we make it three or four times, you know, it then becomes so much more accessible and it kind of sinks in, doesn't it? And then you, you learn how to do it. So, yeah, I know that, um, you know, I really, oops, I really enjoy them. And, you know, I'm so blessed, obviously, that lots of you la ladies seem to really enjoy them too. And, you know, I was thinking while I was making my cup of tea ready to come up and do this. And I thought, oh my gosh, I mean, we're already over halfway through the reruns you know because I stopped at 100 so we've got another 40 you know left to go which I mean don't get me wrong that's you know getting on for a whole year still um left to go so I mean that's you know that's obviously plenty but I was thinking you know well I'm not sure sure what to do because you know you can't really rerun something for a third time because of course people would be like oh my goodness I'm losing the will to live she's rerunning these for a third time um but <laughs> I think there's something quite therapeutic and quite relaxed and things about the format that does allow us to just have that whole hangout feel because we're doing that repetitive process um you know and there is the argument that to be fair we all have to rebuild our stash so you know, running through a third time, well, hey, even for people who had seen it a couple of times, you know, it's just then building your stash again, isn't it? Um, yeah, I don't know. Let me know your thoughts below. Like I say, absolutely no rush because we've got like another 40 weeks to go yet. So, you know, we're only just over halfway. It was just that I was thinking and I thought, oh, I would really miss these now not doing them. So, yeah, just kind of just putting it out there that you know well, I'm not sure what I will do when these come to an end right I'm going to grab my ephemera pieces from the printer hold on right I'm back now I have forgotten but I'd also printed off some of my um postcards vintage postcards um obviously the Victorian ephemera I think this is set four I also printed off some of these little perfect pocket packs and things so I've got a variety of different things that I can be using so like I say we're really looking to use you know, landscape, <clears throat> landscape kind of items so that we can form, you know, pockets landscapely, landscapely, I oh, know it doesn't really make sense, but <clears throat> in a landscape fashion on top of our pockets. So there we go. one oh, it's maybe a little bit too big but we can always trim that down but I quite like how that looks on there weirdly enough so I'm just going to put that to one side <clears throat> I've got this one but again this one might be going to be too big but I'll just trim it in a bit okay I mean, they're just quite a fun one to decorate, I think, as well. So, um, you know, you can do quite a bit of different things with the decorating. Now, let me just see. <clears throat> mm, it's not really the right colour. And to be honest, it is quite big on there. So, yeah, might not be able to use this one after all. 
Yep, too big. That one's too big as well. So, oh, I'm straight away now struggling to, to find things that are the right size. So, let's take a couple of these. So, we've got these vintage postcards. So, let's take one of the blue ones. Okay. my glasses on really to cut that out but hopefully it's come out reasonably okay it's a little bit skew -if, but not too too bad okay let's move those to one side let's have a look and see we could have that one on there that's quite nice yeah I mean obviously a lot of these have got blue so yeah we could have it on probably you know probably look okay on several of them but yeah let's go for that one Okay, this is again that vintage ephemera set four. So this one I think is going to be quite a good size one. Oh, I love that on there. How gorgeous does that one look? Yeah, love that. Right, let's have a look here. So these are some of my Parisian note cards, but I'm just wondering whether we'd have this gorgeous bright tealy green colour. I love this type of colour. Um, again, it might just be a little bit on the big side, but let's just see. And then I've got a couple here in some other colours. So I've got this peachy one and this blue one and this brown. So let's have a look at these. Okay. Oops. Like that. And yeah, let's take a blue one. green one the bright green it might just be too too green I'm not sure but we'll just see okay look. love this color green I must say very pretty isn't it Very rich kind of colour green, isn't it? Okay. So, yeah, further to my, you know, part one of the mass making, I haven't obviously watched any more of the Dharma um, box set since, since last night because my middle son had just started a new job in a local restaurant. So he was out working, you know, working a shift last night from five till ten, I think it was, five till... Yeah, five till ten, five till nine. Um, so he was out kind of pretty much all night. And by the time he got in, I was kind of going to bed. And then obviously my eldest son, he just got back from his Lisbon trip. So obviously he was hearing about that. So yeah, I haven't watched any more of the, the Dharma um, series that we've talked about obviously previously. And I know lots of you said not your type of thing. And hey, I completely, completely get that. You know, it's not not everybody's cup of tea is it so um that one's really nice on there so i'm going to have that there okay let's try this one <clears throat> that's quite nice on there quite boho looking this one mm. and we could tone it right down with the brown should we try that one yep and this one. Oh, I love that brown one on there. How gorgeous does that look? You know, again, sometimes it's the ones that you least expect that actually look the best, isn't it? You know, you can't necessarily, you know, just assume what's going to look good because sometimes it, it's really, you know, not the ones that you would have necessarily expected to look good that actually do look good. So, oh, I love that one on there, actually. 
Yeah, I do really like that one. Right, okay, so yeah, I will leave these four obviously for another day because, you know, we're just going to end up running out of time here anyway. So let's just kind of decorate this up. So I'm thinking on here and then let's just have a look. I've got some postage stamps. So maybe that greeny one. So I'm just going to ink that up a little bit just to sort of tone it down just around those edge bits. Okay. Yeah, that looks pretty, doesn't it? So let me just glue that one down. Oops. Like that. Okay. And then, yeah, put this like a sort of pocket on there, which again, you know, optional, doesn't have to be stuck down like a pocket. You could just glue it all down. I always like to put them on as a pocket because I think then you've got options for if you want to put something in it, where if you've, you know, glued it flat, you've you've lost that option, haven't you? But, you know, completely up to you, obviously, if you wanted to have it as a pocket or not. But that looks really nice. And then on the top, <coughs> Um, let's just see what I've got here. Maybe something like a little ribbon. Oops, a little ribbon embellishment with maybe a wax seal. So, yeah, let's put that one down. Just see, I did do a lot of wax seals recently, so hopefully I've got one that's going to be complimentary and now I say that I'm now straight away thinking oh I'm not sure I have got one that's complimentary that one's not too bad actually yeah just having a look to see whether it kind of does pick anything up from here it's, it's not too bad yeah it wasn't what I expected to go for but yeah I think it looks okay so yeah let's let's put that one down so like that and then yeah the wax seal kind of over the top like that now I might just make this flap slightly smaller because to me this looks pretty ginormous so just trim that in a bit okay 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 right pretty isn't it very pretty and then you know maybe ink, ink around there just having a look to see if I've got a sort of greeny mm, greeny shade that I'm thinking would just bring that in now which one I'll try a bit of this yeah okay Okay, so that looks quite pretty, doesn't it? Now I've also got this. So that was a uh, salvaged patina. I've also got this speckled, oh no, crackle, cracked, pistachio, ugh, cracked pistachio. So I might just kind of go over it in one or two places with that. So is that I picked up more of the green rather than the blue. So yeah, tying the green in a bit more and actually might even go around just, just around those edges as well. So, oh, that's gorgeous, isn't it? I love those colours. And then I have got this green lace, which, how pretty is this? Okay. Thinking, or well, maybe down the bottom. Yeah, maybe down the bottom. So let's just put a row of that here at the bottom of there. Okay. 
Okay. Oops. Spell that down. Oh, how pretty does that look? Oh, that's gorgeous, isn't it? Right. Do we want to have any other lace anywhere else? Uh, I don't think we do. I mean, I feel like it does need something up here, but I'm not sure that the lace is the thing. So I've got these little flowers that come with these little Parisian notebook, uh, note cards. So let's just try one of these. Oh, it's just getting chilly again. Honestly, I mean, I know I've said it time and time again, but yeah, it's quite an old house. So, you know, it really does get quite cold. And um, yeah, I was doing okay. And now suddenly it's like, oh, it's actually getting really cold again now. I guess because I had been kind of rushing around. So that had, you know, kept kept me warm. But now it's it's just beginning to sort of sink in again, how cold it feels. So... Oh, that's quite pretty. So I might just put that little blue flower there. Just to, uh, just to disguise my rubbish cutting. Again, just being super lazy by gluing this with the hot glue. Like that. Okay. Yeah. Okie dokie. How pretty does that look? It's so gorgeous, isn't it? So have we got time for one more? I'm not sure really whether we have, but yeah, should we give it a try? So I'm just thinking, let's do this one. Just pick this one so, so that they've both got, you know, pretty different looks. I don't want to do them that look sort of very similar. So we'll just do this one now. Okay. So that will go in there like that. How gorgeous is that one? And then let's just see. Could have, yeah, could have that stamp there. Or I'm thinking the red one because obviously it's got those red flowers. Let's just see. Oops. Yeah, I quite like the red. It's sort of just lifting it slightly, isn't it? And having a bit of a different different effect so let's pop that down okay <clears throat> and then here okay and then just yep yeah, press that down like that okay and like I say I mean you could round the edges here you know anything to kind of change the look of it really I don't think I'm going to but yeah you definitely could do um let's just see if we want any lace or anything oh that's quite nice isn't it yeah maybe something like that and I've also got this green flower <clears throat> which I'm thinking kind of goes quite nicely, doesn't it? Or maybe there. Yeah, maybe just kind of have that flower there, I think, actually. So let's just pop that down there. Okay, whoops, okie dokie. And then just... This down. Oh dear. Sorry, I've got glue threads now just dragging around everywhere. So, yeah, let's just put this down here. Just snip that out. Oh, my scissors are really blunt. Yeah, could do that. 
pulling in a new pair so I've got some hung on the back of my door so uh, yeah I should, should just get myself a new pair for the next video okay right or you know maybe cut on some is it on some tin foil that will uh, sharpen your scissors again I should really try that probably and then I've just got some pearly dots so I'm thinking maybe finish it off with a little pearly pearly center on the flower so yeah let's just put that down there okay oops okay dokey right so that's that one I mean, very, very different look, isn't it, to the, the green one that we did just a second ago, but equally gorgeous, really. I love them both. And there, obviously, you've got your little secret pocket here. You could journal here, obviously, on the little flap. And then I would glue these on just three sides so they were a top-loading pocket as well. And, obviously, if you wanted to, you could always add some twine. Let's just grab some in. Oops. Now, obviously, this is not really the right colour, so please, please do excuse the colour of this, but you could put twine, obviously, here and have, like, a little policy closure. You know, you could have a policy closure further down on the page. You could wrap it round, um, or you could, obviously, just have this as a little tying up piece with the twine. Oops. Oh gosh, come on. With the twine like like that. So I mean obviously, you know, I have not made a very good job of doing this, but <laughs> I'm sure you get the idea. So, you know, just different looks and different types of things that you can do with them. So I think they're again quite another versatile pocket. You know, as are most of the pockets that we make. You know, there's endless kind of options and choices and things that you can do. Um, but yeah, I hope that you have fun with them. So these are obviously our two finished ones. We have got all of these left, oops, over here, left to put the pockets on. And then we've got these, which, you know, I actually need to kind of obviously get some, some fresh pockets for. But yeah, I hope that you like them. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Have fun if you make some and have a great week, everyone. I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks so much then. Bye.